shows are no strangers to writing characters off, and The Rookie might just be doing the same. Since its inception in 2018, the crime drama has given us some pretty interesting characters. But not all of them are meant to stay forever. Starting with Annie Vershing. Annie made her first appearance as Rosalind in The Rookie in Season 2, Episode 10. The convicted serial killer made a deal with the assistant district attorney. In exchange for disclosing the whereabouts of three of her victims' remains, Rosalind's death sentence would be changed to life in prison. But, as usual, she was up to no good. Caleb Wright, the killer's accomplice, continued her work outside while she was in prison. Caleb even went after Lucy Chen. Fortunately, the LAPD was able to track down Lucy before it was too late, and the deal with Rosalind was called off immediately. The convict made occasional appearances throughout the series, but in Season 5, Rosalind finally got a significant story arc. In the first act, while standing trial for Caleb's crimes, Rosalind managed to escape from the prison. And as expected, the killer started doing her business immediately. She even nearly killed Lucy's then-boyfriend, Chris. In Episode 4 of Season 5, her grand plan was finally revealed, as she set a trap for Nolan's girlfriend, Bailey. When Nolan finally met the killer face to face, Rosalind told him that in order to save Bailey, he must kill her. As usual, Nolan refused to kill her. Everything worked out as Bailey was saved by the others. But when Nolan tried to take Rosalind back into custody, her apprentice shot her in the head. This led fans to believe that Rosalind faked her death and Annie might return to the show. However, that really isn't possible after Vershing's unfortunate passing away. Stephen Full, Vershing's husband, issued a statement confirming the death of the actress. He wrote that there is a huge hole in the heart of her family, but she gave them what we need to fill it. Stephen wrote that Annie saw magic in the smallest things. She didn't require music to dance. He also mentioned that Annie taught them that adventure doesn't come to you. Go look for it. It's all over. Annie was diagnosed with cancer in 2020. Despite her illness, Vershing continued to give stellar performances in shows like The Rookie and Star Trek Picard. After a long battle with cancer, the actress passed away at age 45 on January 29th. How heartbreaking is that? I'm sure the family will always remember her as one of the show's most notorious villains. But she's not the only character the writers plan to write off. Nolan's love life might see some changes too. Jenna Dewan's character, Bailey Noon, has been a huge, big part of the show since her introduction in the third season. As John Nolan's partner, she makes friends with the other officers who work with him. In the fifth season of the show, Bailey's life was in serious danger. Even though Bailey makes it through the near-death experience, I'm still really worried about her future in the show, especially since Dewan has had less screen time this season. But don't you worry, I'm here to tell you exactly that. This season has been really eventful for John Nolan, and by eventful, I mean rough. As a training officer, he starts to guide the new rookie, Selena Juarez, at the station. And then he nearly loses his girlfriend, right after he had started planning their marriage. For someone who's such an important part of Nolan's life though, Dewan's character doesn't show up much this season, and this left fans wondering what will happen to Bailey. Not only that, the presence of Tim Bradford's sister, Jenny, in Nolan's life may have alarmed the fans even more than Dewan's possible departure. Plus the fact that Nolan and Bailey have so many differences even after their engagement. On the other hand, when Nolan was helping Jenny get settled in Los Angeles, the two had a lot in common and seemed to get along well. With all of that, can you blame me for thinking that Jenny will soon replace Bailey as Nolan's love interest? But that leaves a big question. 
Will Dewan leave the show? It seems like Bailey is here to stay for a while at least. So far, neither ABC nor Jenna Dewan has said anything about the actress's position on the show. Honestly, the announcements mostly come after the star has left. But does that mean that we shouldn't worry about Dewan leaving? Even though the actress doesn't have as much screen time as fans of the character would have liked, Bailey is still a very important part of Nolan's life. And as long as that's the case, Dewan will probably stay on the show. Since Nolan and Jenny haven't gotten to know each other better since their first meeting, Nolan's relationship with Bailey isn't in danger. And as for the decline in her screen time, this season has shifted its focus on Tim and Lucy's relationship. And I believe that's the reason why we don't see Bailey that much. As the season goes on, Nolan and Bailey's story may move forward. And if we're lucky, they might start planning their wedding a bit more seriously. Taking all of these things and possibilities into account, I think it's likely that Dewan will keep appearing in The Rookie. In the next episodes of the season, we might even get to see them make detailed plans for their possible wedding. As a couple, they might also try to get along better, even if that means they can't have Selena over to their house anymore. Speaking of Tim, he might be out next season, thanks to his new job. Even though John Nolan is the main character, fans would agree that Tim Bradford often steals the show. In season one, he and Melissa O'Neill's character, Lucy Chen, became unexpected fan favorites. And their relationship is one of the best things about the show. But by the end of the rookie season five, Winter might be on his way out. In season five, Tim and Lucy finally give in to their feelings for each other. The two even went on a date. I don't know about you, but I've been waiting for this forever. The two just look like the perfect couple, starting from the very first season. But since Tim was Lucy's training officer, dating was out of the question. After waiting for five seasons, Tim and Lucy finally took the plunge, and the fans couldn't be more excited. But things are never that easy, are they? Tim is a sergeant at Mid Wilshire, which still makes him Lucy's superior. So they still had to figure out a way to make their relationship appropriate. Lucy suggested a transfer, but Tim was worried they'd see each other too little if she did. So he got a desk job as the Mid Wilshire Police Department's court liaison sergeant. But Tim was miserable in his new position, and Lucy decided to find the love of her life a better job. In episode 13 of season 5, a position in the LAPD's Metro Division miraculously became available after Lucy's backroom maneuvering. And just like that, Tim was in the Metro. This, however, raised concerns among the fans regarding his position in the show. The Metro is no joke after all. It's an elite force with a wide range of responsibilities. Tim could be away on counterterrorism or major crime missions, and he'll spend more time away from the team, which is a good enough reason to be worried about his future. But thankfully, there's no evidence to suggest that Tim will be departing the rookie. The bond between Tim and Lucy is a major draw for viewers. Since Metro frequently collaborates with other police officers, including them in narratives on the rookie should be a breeze. Perhaps a more pressing matter is whether or not ABC will pick up the rookie for a sixth season. That's all for the rookie for today. See you in the next video.